Okay, well, let's get started. This is our top 20 international video game music. A topic I wasn't very excited about when I first heard about it. I guess to me international is obviously various countries, but we do tend to cover composers from different countries, although most of them tend to be from Japan or America. So we're going to be shedding some light on composers from different countries like China, Australia, France, Finland. You might be shocked by some of these people to hear that that's where they're from. Might be somebody you thought was just like you from your country, but friggin' wasn't. This is Costa del Sol by Japanese composer Nobuo Omatsu, but I needed something really quick to throw up that felt international, so. <laughs> nice Bossa Nova feel, a Brazilian feel in a Japanese game. Alright, first up is going to be Escape from Another World. The composer is French. Their name is Jean-Francois Freitas. Freita. This was out on the Sega CD, Switch, PS4, PS5, everything. This is, I think, I'm guessing this is the old PC uh, game, Another World. Let's check it out. Escape, track number three of 13 from the .mu game, Another World, for Android. This one. Spence of that uh, ticking clock. <laughs> Military drums. I guess maybe you're being hunted by the military or something. Some serious copper unis. Tense. Time limited. For sure. Uh, short loop will replay that. <laughs> I like that first part. It just sounds like um, bum 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 bum. Sounds so friendly in a way, but it's not. And even just like the main riff is just, burr, burr. it's like the police banging on a door. Terrifying. Really impressive game for the time. This would have been like very cinematic music for the time as well. Cool. Reminds me of something uh, Hans Zimmer would do for like Dunkirk. Great. Good stuff. Next up, the Savannah Citadel from Sonic Unleashed. Composed by Tomoya Otani. So I guess uh, we're not going too international because this is a Japanese composer. Here we go.
All right. Interesting track. So it's got that, um, this one has like a very international flavor to it. Uh, it's got a very like, I mean, you have that reggaeton beat kind of behind it. Oh. A lot, of, a lot of sort of like jungly percussion with you know, a, lot, a lot of like hand percussion. Um, really fun track. It's funny that uh, that that flute almost sounds a little bit off key, which not here, just before the kind of like when it was trying to sync up with the guitar. Has great energy. Definitely has like a good sonic feel to it. Just like it's almost out of control. It's going so fast, but then kind of rocking and fun with the electric guitar and like a simple melody. All right, next up from Sword and Fairy Seven. This is Precarious Instant, composed by Chi Hao Tseng. Could they be from China or Taiwan? The person who submitted this doesn't know. Well, we'll find out during the song. All right, Sword and Fairy Seven. The Ran Lin Battle Track. Actually, I could be wrong about that. I know what China would say. <laughs> there is no Taiwan. That was from, uh, whatchamacallit, well, that's Costa del Sol, fuck that. That was from Sword and Fairy 7. You know what's interesting is, um, again, this, this has that, like, clock ticking that we heard in the first track. I love the, um, brum, 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 that little, brum, brum, brum. it's a fun little picking, uh, pattern they've got there. A little quick stutter. Yeah, has a lot of energy. Really fun. Not too obnoxious or anything. You know, this would work... Um, I mean, looking at the gameplay, it looks like a big game. You know, big areas. This track's probably going to play for quite a while. Probably going to hear it many times played, so... Just something that goes in the background, changes keys to kind of like... Um, Provide a bit of variety, escalating action. It's nice, very nice, harmless battle track. God, it actually sounds like an old disco song. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it. All right, this next track is from Sonic Mania, Studiopolis Act One. The composer is T Lopes, and they are from Portugal. Speeding up. 
there. What a great turnaround. Oh. Sounds great. That's awesome. I can see why Chris they made that uh, their their big song for it. It's just so it has like that fun sonic throwback, but it's also just very uh, it, it's very fun. You know, very it has that kind of more swanky swing feel, like the casino levels. That more like kind of jazzy feel, really fun. Um, it's got like a glitzy. You know, it's not like talk. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of danger. It's at a more relaxed temp. Well, it's actually walks the line perfectly in the tempo of like it feeling kind of relaxed. And I think it's because of the swing beat in it. So it feels like it's a little bit slower than it is, but but with that hi hat, it gives it a dance feel. Awesome. Great track. Great track. Well, our next composer is based out of the UK. It is the great Tim Fallen. This is the title screen theme from Solstice on the NES. A truly, truly remarkable track for what they managed to achieve on the NES. I'm not a chiptune master, so maybe um, Chiptune Brony can uh, help us out with this. 
I mean, what I'm hearing is, like, obviously the really intense arpeggios. He's, like, using a lot of different tricks to make it sound like there's a lot more going on. Some different effects. I mean, God, he actually makes it sound like there's reverb on the snare at times. And I had read that he, he did, uh, did a few tricks where he would, um... Have the yeah yeah it's the same composer Silver Surfer or at least like one of the same composers that maybe he's working with his brother on Silver Surfer and I'd read that he uses tricks like using the bass channel to work with the kick um, and just like really maxing out everything you do with those four channels by well I think it's just by like. Always having the channel do something, even if even if like one channel is is handling three or four different instruments, but really using a kind of like which makes it almost sound like a chord, you know, in a way because you're, you're getting it's like you're getting more than one note at a time because they're going between each other so fast. Man, that bass is like so big and fucking beefy, so wild. Amazing. So, from, also from the UK, Bjorn Lynn, probably by way of Sweden, chosen by Chip Dream Brony, this is Worm Song from Worms 3D. from Norway. This is the continuing saga of courage, honor, <laughs> and worms. <laughs> Many generations have passed since we were last witnessed to such a raging war. Long forgotten by creatures who dwell on the world's surface, the ongoing struggle of the worms had caused much bloodshed as cults and clans battled on for dominance of the world. Over the years, Boggy B had seen many a bloody battle, yet still he fights on. For glory, for honor, and for his fallen friends, he must settle the score so that future generations may live without fear of airstrikes and grenades or face the hardship every day that the war has brought upon his world. Cheap that way. Man, cool. If anything, life as a worm had become even more dangerous. Experiments had brought new and more powerful weapons to the battle. So it's got such a nice uh, trip poppy groove to it. I love that Tom um, Synth line, that really kind of like windy, almost arpeggio one, kind of like. Just really, like, when you play it in that in that way, it really fills out the track. And I like the production of it. I like how kind of, like, soft and it is and accessible. It's really nice to listen to. They are worms. Excellent. All right, next up, this is Paris by a Rooftop from Sly Cooper's Thieves in Time, composed by Peter McConnell and Michael Bricker, who I assume are from the U.K., Thank you. 
Spy guitar, ding, 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 ding. bit of tremolo on there, a little bit of egg shaker. Probably gonna use some triangle too. Some congas. Some more cinematic orchestra. So compressed. <laughs> Funny. So Peter McConnell is an American guy, born in Pittsburgh. Left Luke starts in 2000, but did contribute to Escape from Monkey Island. <laughs> awesome little ending. Cool. This little James Bond type. Type uh, piece. This Saturday. Boom, ba da, boom, ba da, ba. Ba da, ba da. Next up from Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. This is Gurza Dreaming, composed by Adaraya, possibly from Russia or Ukraine. Well, we know what Russia will say to that. Ba da, ba da, ba da. -da. God, this could fit right into The Last of Us. <laughs> we will liberate this composer from Ukraine. So apparently, um, this is actually composed by, oh, this is actually, <laughs> I fucked up big time. We're listening to Blasphemous. Que las campanas me doblen, let the bells toll for me, composed by Carlos Viola of Spain. Sorry. Quite beautiful. Uh, 
yeah, ambient, somber, but energized. You know, whenever you have that kind of Latin, um, a lot of Latin music is really good at adding, uh, they, they have this contrast between tempos where they, they feel like they're fast, they feel like they're slow at the same time. Because they have a lot of movement. So when you have that like There's a lot of movement, a lot of propulsion behind it. It's like a like a Boston Nova does it too. It's they're they're like ballads, but they have this like drum beat that feels like it's going twice as fast as it normally would. Yeah, this could that sort of um the sound of that stringed instrument would fit in really well in Diablo. And then you know, the darkness and the strings and stuff, too. I like the reverb on whatever that stringed instrument is, too. It's really kind of, like, metallic and just sad-sounding. Really beautiful. Like, there's just such a weight behind this game. I, I haven't played it, but the soundtrack has come up a lot. And you always know it's from there. <laughs> Especially when I announce it as Stalker. All right, let's listen to that stalker track next. Sounds to me like a baritone guitar. That electric guitar sounds so low. Sounds really nice. Bit of like phaser on there, of chorus. You know, the, with the flute and the rock feel and the kind of dark, twisted sound to it, it really feels like it, it would fit well in Silent Hill. Yeah, it does have an alien sound. That wow 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 has that like kind of gooey low exotic feel to it, but like dark insect alien exoticness. So it looks like there were several different composers on the soundtrack. That was a really unexpected chord change, or just what chords that riff touches on. I like when something, when you first hear it, it sounds really kind of unexpected, and then as it repeats itself, it starts making perfect sense. I mean, I always think a lot of video game soundtracks should try to take those kind of risks and sound a bit different, because goats out of the box, they're going to be heard so often. And people will have time to adjust their, their ears and their brain to it for it to become, to feel um, recognizable and feel like home to the ear. This is great. When would this come? I've never played Stalker. When would this come up? So, people, the comments on this are, after a long trip out in the zone, this is the most comforting sound to return to. Safe travels, fellow Stalkers. Okay. So this is, I guess, when you get back to your, like, home base. Cool. Has a nice um, arrangement where it just, just kind of like really dreamlike, almost like jam-like. Like it's just sort of choosing when it wants to to go to these different sections. And the drums are great. They don't feel like they're going anywhere. The way they wait until the end, end, end of the whole phrase to put that snare in. <laughs> Oof. No snare there. No snare there. 
Is the music loud enough for you? Cool. Really groovy. I like it. So next up, we have from the composer Nilo Takalainen from Finland. This is Beat of the Cosmos from Noita. Yeah, I feel like we've had this run of the last three tracks all f having a, all feeling very related. So you have that repeating bass line. I love the end of the bass line. It really does a great job of setting up the loop. Really holds on to that tension at the end. Lets the drums be a bit more free with what they're doing. A lot of overlapping uh, percussion, all kind of, a lot of like polyrhythms doing their own thing. Well, pretty light polyrhythms. I mean, there's like a prevailing um, groove in there. It's not like a bunch of crazy grooves all playing off each other like they're very complementary to each other where they let that kick drum sort of set the tone or that bass line from before like right now the kick drum is totally taking ownership of the groove from the, the bass line that was before and then just like crazy ambience of guitar and flute over top that was neat that's like a fucking acid trip or something like ayahuasca Okay, earlier on we had a track from Another World. This is from Flashback, Conrad's Memories, composed by Jean Baudelot and Fabrice Vissero, chosen by Chip Timbroni. <laughs> You know, this is the Mega Drive version, so um, I apologize, Chip Turn Brony, if you had chosen a different version, because this is probably the most limited one there is. I'll, I'll check and see what's the link you actually asked for. <laughs> Those are some not very inspired Genesis sounds. Like, the Genesis can sound amazing if you know how to tweak the instruments right and you know how to perform them and arrange them. These are like pretty basic uh, Genesis sounds. <laughs> like, uh... Taking back a few. Do you find this pretty nostalgic? Yeah. 
for this. We'll see which one Synth Empire has this for originally. Oh, you did put the Genesis one. Interesting. Okay. Let's listen to the SNES version. Or what's that other one? Um, the thing that's like the Sega Genesis but sounds better. Like the PC-98? Was there a PC-98 involved? Wow. It was, uh, it's hard to believe. Like, when you, like, this was very ahead of its time at the time. <laughs> it's funny. Conrad's memories. Ba -da -ba. Synthwave cover of it. That could be pretty cool. I have here the, um, apparently this is the entire OST of the SNES version of Flashback, the quest for identity on Super Nintendo. And it says the soundtrack is 11 minutes long. <laughs> that's pretty fucking funny. Now that's a Super Nintendo sound. Because you could do the cool sample, but it was always so muffled because it was so compressed. So you had more? Um, you had such a wider variety of sounds in the Sega Genesis, but like you were getting a compressed version of it, whereas the Genesis could only do a few things, but you got this like really full on, uh, really clear sound. Sometimes too clear and too harsh. All right, let's check out Conrad's memories. Oh, they're like so similar. Sometimes back then, when you'd have you'd have like different companies making the games for different uh, consoles, and they would just really do. They had creative license to do if they wanted to. They could uh, compose something completely different. That bass sounds good. I mean, bass is one of the easier things to do, but it sounds nice. Oh, I like that chord. Pretty good. Pretty nice little sound for the Super Nintendo. I like that stereo. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Awesome. All right, next up from Ape Escape 2 Viva Ape Spania, composed by Koji. Hayama. So this is one of Chris's choices where you have uh, where you've got a Japanese composer, but it's he's going for more international flair. International in song rather than composer. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. That classical guitar sound, uh the MIDI sample of it is so funny sounding. But then some like surf guitar. 
This is nice. Almost sounds a bit more Italian. <laughs> the monkey vocals are so good. I really, really like... I love that monkey yell there. That's really fun. Yeah, I mean, um, a lot of Spanish music, just in the choice of like the, the chord progressions, they usually operate around that like minor one, four, five thing, and it always feels a bit dramatic and romantic. <laughs> that monkey scream there is such a perfect sample. And then hear them kind of like trying to sound like um, what instrument would that be? They're, I guess they're trying to sound like trumpets. <laughs> That's some funny shit. All right, next up from Endless Space, The Endless, composed by Arnaud, Arnaud, Roa, aka. Fly by No from France. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty nice. It's, I mean, it's got a lot of um, instruments that lend themselves well to evoking that space thing. That synth there, that really high one. That really, like, high synthy string that has a bit of, a, like, an effect on it, kind of wavering in and out. It has, like, the coldness of space. And then sort of the harmony around it, yeah, it's very meditative and very, like, you know, I guess it's like focusing on the wonders of the universe, of the cosmos. I got a track that's pretty similar to that. If you like this, then the OST 2 Master of Orion 2, the Battle for Antares, 
is uh, pretty similar and pretty great. Check this out. But I'd say what what I like better about the Master of Orion 2 soundtrack is that it uh, moves slower. I like I like that it has this like steady string drone going on in the background that has a movement to it. it never stops, but it like changes at the same time. You kind of feel it. Almost like deep long breaths of a space whale. Well, that doesn't make sense because whales breathe out of water. Something that breathes under water. Yeah, a lot of like airy synths. But then also, I find like those kind of like horns, those synth horns or strings that kind of, it also has this kind of like regalness to it. Like you, because you are a space empire. Yeah, I fucking love the soundtrack so much. And there's some uh, really good stuff to it. I will be right back. Okay, our next track is going to be um, from Proto Corgi, Leviathan, stage one theme. Composer is Francisco Cerda or Cerda from Chile. Oh, another moody track. an amazing track like it's a really f oh, oh like so interestingly harmonically I like how it had that bass stays on that same note there the bass is going bum, 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 bum. so then you can let the chords kind of be a little more challenging da -da, da -da, bum, bum, bum. I love that, the sound of that synth. It's a nice cluster of uh, notes. And then just this like big expansive, oh. And then that chord you go from there. Bum. Uh, which to me sounds like it's going to the four minor. 
This sounds like it could be in like a Mario game or like a Pilot Wings game or something. Sounds very Nintendo to me. Awesome. Ooh, 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 yeah. Okay, next up, we've got, also from France, Christophe Haral. This is Home Sweet Home from The Great Beyond Good and Evil. I love that, um, you know, the piano kind of looping. There's not really a lot of foundation to grab onto. There's not like a strong percussion. There's no groove. There's not like strong bass notes or anything. So it has this kind of like floating and you have those strings kind of. And it's like a very like plaintive, um, thoughtful piano. Unsettled. I love it. It's like really beautiful, thought-provoking. So it's a mystery, but it's like a warm, it's a friendly mystery. It's an approachable mystery. It's, but it also has that wonder, you know, and the way that this game treats animals to be something to wonder and take pictures of, that it treats the environment as something very, very important. All right, next up from... Genshin Impact. This is Rex Incognito, composed by Yu Peng Chen of China. time now yeah that really beautiful Chinese violin and and that other sort of um, Chinese string instrument Beautiful track goes a lot of different places. Love the uh, love those Chinese sounds and the arrangement. Really nice. This next one from an Australian composer, Mick Gordon or Mitch Gordon. This is the New Order from Wolfenstein. New Order. Oh, Mike.
Yeah, like it's a low moody part. Again, that sounds like probably a maybe a bar baritone guitar or just a nice cool bass guitar in there. But yeah, that heavy part. It's like so half time. And so the so the drum groove feels almost like too slow and then underneath you just have like basically things playing as hard and as fast as they can but they create a lot of momentum with all the kicks after that first snare because they're all being done on the upbeat down, up, down, up, up, up. It's cool. What a cool feel. Kind of sounds like very musy. It sounds awesome. Jesus Christ. It's just like so... It's like, it's like you're watching something in slow motion. It's like you're watching something crumble. It's like... Or like a volcano erupt and just slowly cover something and there's nothing you can do about it it's just in this like slicing razor sharp type sound great stuff all right our last one. Oh no I, I put rex incognito twice that can't be true well we have to find one more for our last one then so our last one is going to be from age of empires 2 this is machina del diablo composed by steven rippey of the usa this is an international flavored song let's check it out This one. Just bob her head to it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you want to be a part of this and you're watching this on YouTube, just um, follow the link to our Discord and you can submit tracks. You can help pick themes. And you can be on the show. Thank you to uh, Chris, Chiptune Brony. Claudio, Rudy, and everybody that submitted tracks for this week. Really appreciate it. Awesome stuff. Fun little, um, fun little topic, too. Yeah, a lot of fun. I'm going to be, I'm going to grab, um, right, well, I'll, I'll say goodbye on YouTube. And if you don't see the link to the Discord, just leave a comment, and one will be personally delivered to you. So goodbye, YouTube.